Disgrace Silicon Valley superstar Elizabeth Holmes turned herself in today to begin her 11 year prison term for defrauding investors with her blood testing company Theranos. And we're learning how she spent her last weekend of freedom. Here's Amber Cogliano. Elizabeth Holmes reports to prison today. There she is in a brown top and jeans, and look, she's smiling. The former Silicon Valley billionaire turned herself into Bryan Prison Camp outside Houston to begin serving her 11-year sentence for fraud. Her husband blew goodbye kisses. Holmes will bunk with three other women in a small concrete room, and she'll start working right away, says former inmate Lynn Espejo. Brian's policy is you will work in the kitchen for 90 days. It could be grueling work. Pots and pans was probably one of the worst jobs. Tell me about the food there. It is a lower quality meat. It's uh, low quality canned vegetables. A lot of things that we were served were actually out of date. Often there would be bugs and weevils found in the beans, the oatmeal. A map of the prison looks more like a college campus dotted with trees and walking paths. But this inmate says don't be fooled. It's not club cupcake or club fed. The prison primarily houses nonviolent white collar female convicts. It's the same location where Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw is serving time for a telemarketing scam. How heart wrenching will prison visits be with her family? It was heart wrenching to watch children being pried off of their mothers when visits ended because Children do not understand why mommy can't come home with me. And we've made it possible. Holmes' is incredible rise and fall was captured by actress Amanda Seyfried in the Hulu hit The Dropout. If you are what you eat, what are you? Green juice. Today, the actress happened to be on the set of GMA to promote a new project and was asked about Holmes reporting to prison. Today is the big, yeah, um, yeah. Weird, you know. Uh, I feel for those kids. Lawyers for Holmes attempted to delay the start of her prison sentence while she appeals her conviction, but that was denied.